Hey everyone, welcome back to DCF Garage and today we have the 2018 F-150 Gold. This one is a 2.7 EcoBoost and what I'm going to do today, I'm going to just uh, swap the brake fluid. This truck is four years old. I don't know if you can see but the brake fluid is already a caramel. I'm going to do the test just to confirm that we have enough water here that warrants swapping out the fluid. So. I've got two one pint bottles of original OEM Motorcraft fluid and this is the, hold oh, it, and they put the sticker right on top of it. But anyway, this is a DOT4 high performance low viscosity LV brake fluid which is what the F-150 takes. Uh, so I got the brake fluid tester here and this is a cheap one from Jeff's store. The way it works, you got these two leads and you press the button and you stick it in the brake fluid. Yep, and if you stick it way in there, you get the less than 3%. Just for laughs and poops, we're gonna test out the new brake fluid. It's kind of yellowish, or it's, I think it's kind of yellow. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's test it just to make sure that it is good. And you can see, 0% water. And you wanna start with the wheel with the brake caliper that is further away from the from the brake reservoir so this is the right rear wheel that's where you want to start then we're going to go to the left rear wheel and then we're going to go to the front right wheel and then the left right wheel the left front wheel so i got my setup here uh took the cap off and i'm going to start uh pulling you know the old fluid out just make sure you protect everything around it because brake fluid is extremely corrosive. If, th if this falls on your paint, it's not going to look pretty. Now that we pulled most of the old brake fluid out, we're going to start pouring fresh new in. And curiously enough, the new you know, motorcraft brake fluid is yellow. Alright, so we got a whole pint in. Now we're going to start pulling it from the wheels, and we'll monitor the level as we pull it from the wheels. Okay. So now we take the dust cap off, and we're going to place our 11 millimeter uh, wrench in. We're going to come with a, you know, vacuum bottle. All right, now what we'll do, we'll pull vacuum first, and then we'll open the bleeder. And then we'll close the bleeder, and then stop vacuum. Just make sure that you close the bleeder before you stop pulling vacuum so air doesn't go back into the line. We finished bleeding the passenger rear wheel and, uh, and this is how much fluid we got. So we got everything that we pulled out from the front plus what we pulled out from here. And now we're just gonna go back with, uh, with our dust cap. Don't forget the dust cap. And that's it. Now let's do the driver uh, rear wheel now. Same thing with the driver rear caliper. So remove the dust cap, 11 millimeter, fit your vacuum hose. So now we're on the front passenger wheel. Dust cap is on the back, as you can see. Oh, sometimes it's just hard to get it off because it's been there for a while. It's been there for four years. And I don't want to get a screwdriver. Come off. Come on. 2,000 years later. Come off. All right. I'm going to go, go get a screwdriver. Okay. So probably has never been off. And get this show going. Before we continue, I'm just going to double check the level. Let's see where we're at. All right, so we're right here above minimum, still a little bit under max, so we're good. Let's uh, keep moving forward. So put the wheels back on. Uh, let's check the fluid level, and I'm not sure if you can see, but here's the minimum, here's the maximum. The fluid is right below the maximum. Maybe Ford did the new version of this fluid yellow so you can better see it. But then, when it starts absorbing water, I don't know what color it's going to be. 
Uh, you tell me if you know, if you're a Fortec, just let me know. Make sure you put your cap back on. And, and that's it. And before you go out driving, just, you know, make sure go in the car and pump the brake a few times. Make sure that the brake is, you know, fully pressurized before you go out driving. That's it. I hope this was useful. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.